I think that you agree, Ms. Roman, based upon your answer, that there was a time when your father owed his brother some money. Yes, ma'am. And you are the executor of your father's estate? Yes, ma'am. How much money did your father acknowledge that he owed to his brother? He didn't give me an exact amount, but he said he, need, he was borrowing money to pay house taxes. Did he tell you when he started to borrow money from his brother? I want to say 2015. Is that when he started to borrow the money? Yes, April of 2015. And how much did he borrow? Just under 4000 It was um, two house payments and a year's worth of property taxes. Give me the figures. Thirty-nine twenty-three. I've got it summarized here if you'd like to see. Okay. So the only issue that has to be resolved is... Ms. Roman, as the executor of the estate, since you acknowledged that there was a debt owed to the plaintiff that should have been a debt that was taken from his estate if there was money in the estate, was there? Yes, but when my dad was alive, he paid back. I, I'm going to get to that. Okay. <laughs> but that was a debt that would have yes, been paid. Your father passed away when? October 2016. So you're going to show me because this is your defense. Now we acknowledge that there was a debt, $3,923. So now your defense is that your father paid him back yes, during his lifetime. So you're going to show me from April of 2015 to October of 2016 payments to your uncle that were $3,900. Yes, is that fair? Yes. Yeah. So you had access to her father's account and Correct. withdrew money regularly and paid yourself back. So maybe we can simplify this. Did you have access to your brother's account? Yes, that's the only way I would do the loan. Did you pay yourself back any of this money, all or part of it? 14 payments. 14 payments in what amount? $218 and some odd cents. 72 cents. 72 cents. 218. 18. May I, may I explain that amount? Sure. So the loan was for $118, but I took additional $100 out so he can pay his property taxes. So you so far took out $2,912. Yeah. That's what I have. Okay. Your yeah. Honor, I just, have... Just, just a second. Okay. I'm going to get to you in a minute. You acknowledge that you took back $2,900 of the $3,900 that he owed you. That's what you say. Yes. She may have more. So that means the remainder of what he owes you would be, if he was alive, would be $1,000. If he owed you $39.23 and he paid you $29.12, what's left is $1,011. Uh, so my math is different. The, uh, the loan part would be $118.72. Now mine came out to $16.62 of what he has paid me. So that I come up with a balance of $22.61. No. Can I see what he yes, would take? Let me see what he took. I have in December of December twenty third of two thousand fifteen. He took out a thousand forty eight, not the two hundred eighteen seventy two, which makes up your difference that you're talking about. Yes. This is a summary, and this is my dad's bank account statements. Did you ever take out a thousand dollars? Yes, and I can explain that. The amount that you took out was in May two eighteen seventy two. June to 1872, July to 1872, August to 1872, September to 1872, October to 1872, November to 1872, December 1048. What was the 1048 for? Because <clears throat> he was bouncing checks on the house payment. So I go look at Ben, let me take the whole house payment out plus the, the 218. And here's a copy of the receipt of the house payment I made. Well, you added everything together, sir. I said, what did he owe you? And you told me $3,923. And you said that was for two house payments and property taxes. Yes. That's what you told me before. Yes. All of those things together, $3,923. So you've been fully paid. I don't have you, a calculator, but I, I have 14. I have a, I have a calculator. So I you, used a calculator. So you're saying 14 payments at 118.72 is? 218.72. Okay, the, the extra 100. It was to his property taxes, which I got a copy of that check also. Oh, it was property taxes? Whose property taxes? M my brother's house. He was struggling with payment, so we made an agreement that I'll take an additional $100 a month out and pay his portion of property taxes because he wasn't very good at budgeting. <laughs> That's not true. Well, I've, got, I've got a check no, here proving that. He's paid the mortgage payments and the taxes for five years and may needed help at one time. She doesn't owe you any more money. We're done.